Today we're going to look at swapping out a horrible LCD for the goodness that is CRT. So now's the time to get busy. So guys, let's uh, take a look at the uh, the machine as it is, and you can see the comparison against that beautiful CRT on the left. <laughs> the Hyper Olympic looks very dull in comparison, and those blacks are terrible. A big grey backlit area no scan lines it just does not look as sexy and nice as a beautiful glowing crt look at that goodness <laughs> it's just that's beautiful that's how it should be guys so yeah i um have had this lcd in here far too long and it just does not provide the same effect at all and it'll be good to get this guy out of there so we need to get a suitable chassis and uh, we need to get a tube and uh, we need to get this LCD out of here ASAP and into the dumpster where it belongs. <laughs> so guys, let's get cracking in. So the first thing we need is a donor chassis and I've got this Naneo chassis here, uh, which should be able to slot straight in with a uh, with a tube that I've got. Uh, KZ20EN uh, is on the Carga Electronics um, sticker there, and uh, this guy here should provide a really really nice picture. It's already been sorted out by JMac. It's got uh, it's a dual res monitor. You can see the two connections there, and we'll be connecting up to that back section for normal res and other things we need to consider is uh, we've got to plug the power in of course and get some power there and then on the neck board we've actually got two earth cables to connect up a lot of those neck boards only have one but this particular chassis has two earths who come off the back of the tube and then of course we've got all the settings at the front there to play with including that horizontal size pot which uh, you need a special tool to adjust. So just watch out for that when you are adjusting the horizontal width. So yeah, guys, we have a suitable chassis and it's got the right number of holes uh, for the neck because they are some of those are different, remember? So you need to get the right one with the right number of holes, but uh, that will fit our tube nicely. We've got the uh, red, green, and blue bias on the neck there that we'll also modify. And then coming up from the chassis itself will be the uh, the cables to connect up to the PCB. So that's the red, green, and uh, our blue plus the earth and sink wires. And of course, there's the power. And this one's wired directly into the board. So we'll need to uh, cut off the end of this cabling here and wire that in to the cabs AC. And uh, and remember, around the back there, we've got to connect up to the uh, to the right. Um, right socket to get normal resolution so I think we're uh, pretty much ready to go um, the anode cap of course will have to connect on to the back of the tube once we're all ready to go rock but first of all we need to get that horrible LCD out of there so just looking in the back before we get the LCD out uh, currently I've got the jammer Pi there that'll be hooking up to it for a test and the Existing wiring actually um, will need to be changed because the socket is different. The power cable, uh, of course, is a plug on, on this particular one, but we go, we've got a direct connection on the board. So I'm going to have to chop both of the uh, that cable there off and the, the power cable off to connect to the wiring uh, harness that I have, or the wiring type, if you like, for the, um, for the chassis. And, uh, and then we should be good to go. Just need to unplug these guys, get the VGA cable and the power cable out for the screen, and we're ready to uh, take the LCD out. Okay, so pretty easy to get these, uh, these monitors out um, in terms of getting behind the glass here. So just reaching in underneath the cabinet there and pulling the levers on either side of the control panel will just uh, release the panel, and then we'll be able to get the, uh, the panel off slide the top glass out and then get access to that panel so let's get on with it
guys so we are now ready for the uh, donor tube and uh, you can see this one um, has its uh, has the uh, yoke connections there and uh, and then also it's already got the two earth connectors that we need for the neck board and around the side there is the degauss circuit and we probably won't hook that up initially um, just a little bit more work to put that in place um, but everything else is ready to rock we just need to get this frame off of this particular one because this will sit straight into the cabinet without the need for a frame and we've got the right number of pins on the neck that will fit our neck board just fine so let's get this uh, bad boy into the cabinet and uh, uh, luckily it's only a 20 inch so they're not too heavy so let's get this guy in there tube in. I uh, also have put the chassis in here and connected up the uh, RGB through to the to the main PCB so that connects up onto there so I plugged that in already. Also got the power hooked into there. Through the back there you can see that I've got the uh, the connectors in. Hopefully I've got those the right way around for the yoke. Always seem to be out of luck in getting those right the first time. Um, but anyway we shall see if that's correct or not and there's the two earthing cables on the back of the uh, the neck board the neck board is nicely firmly on and we are pretty much ready to go hooked back through to the hyper olympic board going through the jammer converter all right let's uh see what we get and we have a picture and it's back to front upside down <laughs> just uh, so yeah I've got the yoke wires the wrong way around so let me flip them and let's check it out now you can see that these are actually cut here um, so I do need to flip those around and get the picture the right way up rightio now we have a great picture it's um it's got a little bit up the uh, the top is slightly slightly cut off just up the top there you can see um, but other than that it is a excellent picture look at that phosphor glow the glow around those numbers there's even like a 3d effect of the lettering sort of I don't know it's just reflective underneath the glass it's just that glow guys that really really does it for me <coughs> this just brings back uh, all the nostalgia and that just looks a gazillion times better than having that horrible LCD in there <clears throat> for me and anyone else that grew up with CRTs I, I, I'm sure you can agree with me that this is how the game should look and you know the pixels and the scan lines it's just awesome okay I did a just a final adjustment and now we've got a perfectly aligned picture so uh, pretty easy guys right pretty easy just uh, swapping out LCD get a donor CRT chassis in a tube hook up the uh, hook up the wiring like like we saw and uh, and you're back to good old nostalgic CRT the way it was supposed to be played but that picture is really really nice the bottom left hand corner needs a little bit of a degauss but otherwise it is perfect so guys how easy was that <laughs> got rid of that LCD it's in the rubbish but anyway guys I hope that was useful to you what we should do now is quickly have a game of uh, Hyper Olympic now that it's all nice and shiny with its CRT so let's stick it on and have a crack right guys let's have a game We'll put in the uh, DAD, good old dad. <coughs> and, and guys, Ooh. such a great game to play against someone else, not just a computer, obviously. This is a two player yeah, yeah. game, well, it can be up to four players, um, but you have to alternate. The other two players have to alternate in these sort of events for the running and stuff. Come on! Go, 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 go! 
Yeah, yeah. Whew, not really yeah, Hussein yeah, Bolt, yeah, but look, yeah, I have yeah. got the high score up there, 989. Oh, that wasn't as good. Okay, the long jump. Let's get the speed up. Not too bad. Not too bad at all, actually. That could be... 859, cool. I actually just took out my other score there. But anyway, that was a, a good effort. Let's try again. Uh, yeah, not a bad jump too. That could be a, a second place. Whoa! <laughs> First! Woohoo! <laughs> That's awesome. 917. All right, here we go. On a roll. Oh, got a foul. So that's me right for saying I was on a roll. But anyway, <laughs> got the world record. Okay, javelin throw. Got to get 70 metres. And that might make it. Yep. 79, close to 80, a little bit off the uh, the third record there. So let's see if we can do better. Ah, too late. If I hold this, the button down, it goes off the screen now. It won't get the bird because there's a bird that comes down there, guys. <laughs> uh, in fact, I can try and show you that um, if I, because I've already qualified. So let me try and see if I can get the bird. Whoops, that's probably too early. It's going to go off the screen. Ah, didn't quite make it. So yeah, we'll get a bird and it, and it, uh, it drops down. Anyway, I am through to the hurdles. So the hurdles is just a uh, left, right running and then middle for jump. Bit of ah, it's a bit of uh, coordination, so you don't do what I just did. Oh, did I get enough? No. <laughs> uh, and it's set up currently with the dip switches that if you miss a uh, an event like that, you are out. So uh, so let's just have another another game. Okay, guys, this time I'm going to try just doing one button on the left and then the jump. Because this is really where you can get tripped up. So, instead of doing the two, just doing the one. And hopefully, it's enough to get me across. Yes. <laughs> uh, everything else is so easy, and then that gets so close to 14. All right. Now we are on the hammer throw. Now this one here, it's all about getting this yellow bit halfway through the final part here, there. And I probably didn't hold it down long enough, but that's exactly what you want to look for. It's way too hard to try and work out when it should spin. It's better to just use the gauge at the bottom. And once it gets to that halfway point, well, oh. that was probably a little bit over the halfway point, so I better get it this time. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be playing in yet another game to get through to the high jump. So let's hope I can get this one. Oh, crap! Oh. Crap! Damn you! Oh, okay, let me zip back through. Get that. Dead on 14. Wow. Okay, guys, let's try again. Let's get this right. I need to be a tad earlier on that last quadrant. No, that's too early. So I definitely need to go half. All right, here we go. 
here we go. I normally can get this, uh, there we go, oops, bit too high. <laughs> We're gonna make it. Oh, 72. Oh man. Oh, come on. This is it. Last one. Yes, that's gonna do it. Thank God. Actually, pretty, pretty high score. Top of the world again. Okay, finally, guys, we're on to the high jump. Now, the high jump, I actually, this is the, the worst event out of all of them. I just don't like it. And it's a little bit of a trick to it. You've got to hit it there. Ah, too early. So you, you press it where you want them to stop so it's, it doesn't slide like the other ones do. It's really, when you first do it, it's you can never get it right. Go there, tilt, and then... There we go. So, yeah, you have to sort of stop, move him a little bit, and move him more before his legs come down. And um, I just, I don't know, I just can't seem to... There we go. <sighs> Third in the world. It's because I've hardly got to here since the battery got changed on this PCB. That's why I'm getting all these world records, guys. Not because I'm awesome, it's because it uh, was basically... Uh, reset not long ago <laughs> so ah uh, yep got over there so we're going to get up on the, the high score table that's cool and yep nice one so we could get to the top of the world if I could do the next one but um, Let's see how we go. No, probably oh. not close enough. Let's go. Not close enough again. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, there you go. We're on the top of the leaderboard, which, as I said, doesn't mean much. Seems we're all cleared out, but okay, here we go. <laughs> well, I tell you what, I don't think this is probably the highest I've ever gotten the high jump. And I mean, I have played this game a lot, but I just every time I get to this event, I just uh, struggle like that. <laughs> Well, qualified, so uh, put you up as the, uh, the champion. And it's cool, of course, when you've got other players playing with you. Winners get the, uh, get the girls, of course. <laughs> and that's it. And funnily enough, actually, I must have it set so that it doesn't go back round. That's interesting. That is interesting. So that must be on the uh, the dip switches. I currently must have it set the other way because normally what happens is you come back to play again, and I'm pretty sure you do. Yeah, you do. And uh, and then the times get lower and lower, and it gets harder and harder. But anyway, okay, let's uh, let's wrap it up. So that's it. And I'll tell you what. Wow. <laughs> every, every time you just you end up feel like yeah you've actually just run the race <laughs> it's uh it's it's a great game i i just i just love it and even even on your own it's it's still awesome fun but mix it up with another player it's awesome the cocktail is really really cool because then you've got four players around you know around a cocktail table and it's a great way to have a social game because two people can you know run against each other and the other two can you know sit back relax and chat and have a drink and of course then the screen flips and then the other two players can go so i, I always 
had a soft spot for the uh, the cocktail version of it. Um, never had it back in the day, mind you. It was always a stand up, and I've just seen those um, cocktails in the US. Anyway, guys, um, look after yourself and play your games, fix your games, all that good stuff. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all those um, new subscribers and viewers, and those of you who've posted some very nice comments recently. Thanks a lot for all of that. Keeps me inspired, and uh, it's always <laughs> always a challenge to uh, to get these videos out, of course, and uh, so it's a lot of work but I still love to do it uh, very much enjoy it still and hope you get something out of it so anyway guys until next time ciao for now